Hi, Baz at GodAUkulele.com uh, with another instrument review. Really pleased to be bringing up uh, the troops for the baritone camp. Uh, not a lot of baritone reviews on God of Ukulele, uh, so it's nice to get another one up there. This is the Clearwater Ramback uh, baritone. It's actually the UCW7B stroke PU, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to call it the Ramback, and it's the Ramback because of the round molded back. Uh, this is a value instrument uh, from a range of round backs that Clearwater make. I think it's a fairly generic instrument because I'm sure this is pretty much identical to an old Ohana uh, round back baritone that looked absolutely identical. Um, so you may see this in other badges, but there we are. This is the Clearwater version. We've got a solid spruce top. This is two pieces. Uh, nice stripe, nicely finished in satin, no flaws, no blue spots, no pooling, no problems whatsoever. Uh, some nice black, white, black edge binding and white binding on the side. And that sits on top of this polycarbonate bowl back body. Some will say, well, that's just like a flea. Yeah, I suppose it is. It's also like an Ovation Balladeer guitar from the 60s and 70s. So it's a tried and tested formula. It gives a punchy sound, it's lightweight, it's nice and thin, um, and it's really nice. Um, so, back to the top, we've got a rosewood tie bar bridge, I think that saddle is plastic, nice little bit of white edge detail down there, uh, nothing remarkable. We've got inlaid mother of pearl around the sound hole, which is a nice touch, and we've got a cutaway. Um, you know, it looks, it looks nice. I love the way the white binding sits against the black plastic, and that black plastic is really tactile, nice bow, really thin down at the base, like an Ovation guitar. Um, my only complaint there is that it doesn't have a textured grain to it. It's quite slippy. When you hold it, it slides around. I think you're only going to play this with a strap if you're standing up, uh, and thankfully it comes with a strap button. Um, so everything you need, really. Um, really nicely put together. Um, we've got a unspecified hardwood neck with a joint at the heel and a joint at the headstock uh, and a nice cap here in rosewood on the heel. Uh, on top of that is a rosewood fretboard with 21 nickel silver frets, 14 down to the body, uh, which is good. Uh, no sharp edges, nicely crowned, nicely finished. We've got fret markers facing out in mother of pearl inlays sadly no fret markers on the side for the player uh, the nut appears to be bone actually and it also appears to be removable which is good um, and we've got a really classy looking headstock with more binding rosewood face clearwater logo in mother of pearl and sealed unbranded generic geared tuners these are the protective labels because this instrument isn't mine they come off in silver and all of that with a pickup. We've got a passive pickup in this, so no unnecessary battery compartments or controls. Just plug it into a preamp and away you go. Um, and all of that comes in for somewhere between about 100 and 120 pounds. Yeah, you heard that right. That is an absolute bargain for a baritone. It's an absolute bargain for a solid top baritone, and it's certainly an absolute bargain for a baritone with a pickup. I mean, it is amazing value uh, what else do you get with it i don't know what those strings are i think they're nile guts on the um on the e and a strings and i think that and they're wound strings on the g and c as you can see fairly standard baritone this is made for tuning to low d g b e um yeah really good value none of that would mean anything if it didn't play very well thankfully really nicely balanced really nicely balanced lightweight uh, thin, comfortable, tactile to hold. I, I love the back. I really love it. I love everything about the, the feel of it. Uh, the neck is really nice and comfortable. Um, it's got a great projection. It's got great sustain. Now what I did find is unlike your traditional strumming position here of over the fingerboard with a ukulele, you'll get a brighter tone playing it like a guitar behind the sound hole. it is closer to a small guitar 
than it is to a soprano. Um, it can be a bit boomy, a bit echoey on account of that um, plastic back body, but you know, it's really good. It's really good, really playable. <laughs> What I would say is experiments with the strings. I think these are a bit boomy. Uh, I think strings could really change this, but I don't review my instruments down on account of the string choices. They're consumables. They're designed to be changed. You know, that, that is pretty much a bargain. The only things I don't like, no fret markers. doesn't come with a gig bag. You can see a gig bag here. You'll see it in the pictures on the written review. That's an extra. That costs about 30 quid. But, you know, 100 odd quid, 120 quid for a baritone with a pickup. Solid wood top. What's not to like? Um, I really want to keep this, and I've got a much more expensive baritone in the collection from Pono. But this is an instrument that has just made me want to pick it up. It's there on the sofa. I want to play it. I want to play it. I want to hold it. I really like it. Uh, cheap does not mean nasty. Um, I would point out that there's a couple of very well-known performers on the circuit. Ian Emerson and Zoe Bastel have performed on the biggest stages in the UK on the ukulele circuit with one of these. So, you know, it's good enough for them. They like them. Um, and they perform with them to big crowds. So this is not a cheap and nasty instrument. This is a real instrument. <coughs> you know, you can tell I like it. Um, and it isn't just because it's cheap. It's because it's a good instrument for the money. 100 to 120 quid, clear water, round back, bowl back, baritone ukulele. Highly recommended. Take a look. <laughs> 